We've got amphibian milk, baby. The earthworm-like ring Sicilian was observed feeding its hatchlings a unique milk from its rear end, the first known example of an amphibian feeding its young this way. Researchers at the Butantan Institute in Brazil recorded 16 ring Sicilian and their new hatchlings squirming their way around the backside of their mother to feed on milk droplets, which were analyzed to contain additional lipids, carbohydrates, and other nutrients, giving the hatchlings the ability and energy to develop and grow. Thanks for the milk. It's time for batteries made of water? Scientists at RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia have developed a way to make recyclable, safer batteries using water. Instead of utilizing electrolytic fluid like sulfuric acid, water and a few added salts are harnessed to power the battery's electron flow. They've come up with a way to prevent short-circuiting, making this water battery a safer and greener alternative to traditional lithium-ion batteries. And they're hoping to make these commercially viable in a few years. This is the latest in science news, this is Mind Blow. A recently discovered brass astrolabe has markings in several different languages. It dates back to 11th century Spain and contains several annotations and amendments in different languages, thought to be from different owners over the centuries. The historian points out that it's a powerful record of scientific exchange between Arabs, Jews, and Christians over hundreds of years, and was modified by at least three different owners, with translations and corrections. Two using Hebrew and one using a Western language, making the discovery of this star chart not only extremely rare, but extremely awesome. It turns out bumblebees are a lot smarter than we thought. Despite their seed-sized brain, bumblebees have shown a human-like level of collective intelligence. Ecologists at the University of Exeter trained the bumblebees to open a two-step puzzle box. Then they were observed teaching new bees who had never seen the puzzle so that they understood the solution to open the box themselves. Their research has uncovered that tiny-brained little bees can not only teach each other, but use tools and do basic mathematical equations. So now we know the bees are coming for us. Nicolas Cage was right. No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Let's make some skin. A team of researchers at Queensland, Australia have become the first to use human stem cells to generate fully functioning skin tissue, which is a gigantic step towards better treatment for wounds and severe burns. The tissue can develop hair follicles, neurons, sebaceous glands, and sweat glands, mimicking the human body closer than already existing skin substitutes and will allow the designing of new techniques in the areas of wound care and hair transplant. Plans. Right now, they're working on further development toward clinical uses. It's big news for our largest organ. These tiny stickers could save lives. Northwestern University and Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis made a first-of-its-kind sticker that will allow clinicians to use simple ultrasound devices to monitor the health of patients' organs and deep tissues. They react to the body's pH levels and can serve as a warning that something might be wrong post-surgery. And then when the patient is fully healed, the biocompatible, bioresorbable sticker dissolves away into the body and there's no longer the need to surgically extract them. So someday your life may be saved by a sticker. Robot dog parkour? Forget fetch, sit, and roll over. With the help of AI, scientists just taught this old robo dog some new tricks like climbing and hopping between boxes. Dubbed Animal, this four-legged robot pooch can tackle a basic parkour course climbing up a set of boxes, jumping between two stacks, then climbing down successfully at around five miles per hour. Other existing robo-dogs lack this level of agility, and they say this could one day help it navigate physical barriers during search and rescue missions. Also, let's face it, it just looks cool. And now, witness the glory of car bumper technology in 1973. Mindblow is a Patreon-supported program. Thanks to all my patrons. Join us today. This Chevelle Laguna Type S3 from Chevrolet has a resilient front end that resists minor dents and dings. The GM energy absorbing bumper on this 1974 Buick can take little bumps like this.